Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Spot Nudy. I'm Spontaneous One. Welcome back to Car Judging. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this like twice per week. Yeah, we're trying to keep a lot of content coming at you. Um, we're still going through the pre bought packs that we got. Uh, I promise after we're done with all them, there's going to be more cool ones, especially like that really bad words I can't say one that I got with the rares and the mythics and then the full art card that just looked beautiful. Let's get right into this, shall we? I love opening all kinds of packs, especially when you guys can interact, tell me what, like, a card's better than I thought it was. So we start off, got the double-backed card. They're always nice to have. And the first card is Briska Shield Mate. One color, so one white. Human Warrior. When it dies, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. 2-1. Basically... You know the board's going to get wiped. It's good to have this on the field. Because, yeah, it's a two cost, but, like, you get a 1-1 one, one afterwards. So it's just nice. Plus, if you know you're going to sacrifice or something, you get something back for it. Uh, Carafel Hellenberg. One color is one white. Tap, add one blue. Spend this mana only to foretell a card from your hand or cast an instant sorcery. One color is one green. Decent mana ramp. I don't like how specific it is to using it. But it's mana ramp nonetheless, and blue doesn't get a lot of mana ramp. Uh, Axagard Calvary. One color is one red. Dwarf Berserker. Tap one. Turret creature gains haste until end of turn. Two, two. Overall, not a bad card, especially if you just need the haste. Like, you just summon a, uh, your BBEG, and you just want to kind of swing for game. Overall, not a bad card. Um, Ice Hide Troll. Two colors, one green, three, two, snow creature, troll warrior. Tap two snow. Ice Hide Troll gets plus two, plus zero, and gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. I don't like that. Because then you have to have a second card to untap it, and it's just getting so expensive. Overall, I just don't like it. I don't need to explain. I just don't like it. It being tapped makes it not worth it in my book. If it didn't get tapped, I would actually probably use that. Jugar Recruiter, three colors, one black, hum uh, Zombie Cleric, three, three, Boast, tap three, tap one black, return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. That is broken. Basically, you get to cycle, and it's a choice. Like, let's say you have four extra mana. You can just do it at the end of your turn after you're attacking. Ah, oh, I love this card. Volt Rabber, two, uh, two costs, one colors, one red. Rogue Dwarf, both really good types. Tap one. Tap. Exile a creature from your graveyard, create a treasure token. 1 3. So either you can attack, or you can just get rid of useless cards and create beautiful treasure tokens. Yes, it costs 1 to do, but you're basically making an investment. That 1 mana, plus there's a lot of stuff that use treasure tokens and fun things. Feed the Serpent. 2 colors, 2 black. Exile target, creature, or planeswalker. This isn't as good as, like, the murder card, but if you're playing commander, it's a good secondary option. Plus, exile means they can't use it as a material later. Very nice, very beautiful. Giant ox, one color, so one white. Creature, ox. Uh, zero, six, giant ox, crew vehicles, using its toughness rather than its power. So, it can be used as a six for any vehicle, pretty much making it where you can use any vehicle with it, which is pretty amazing. It's a really cheap way to just crew things. Plus, there's no other effects, so you're not feeling bad to like, oh, I can't use this now. Uh, also, it's a good blocker as a 0-6. Uh, a Jar Raven. Three colors, one blue, flying, and it has Fortell, 3-3. Three, three. The only reason you'd run this is for its Fortell. Because, yes, it, it's the same cost as Fortell, but you can do it turn 3 instead of turn 4. And it's cheaper, technically, with the overall mana consumption. 3-3 three, three flying is decent, but its only effect being that does not make it worth 4. Poison the Cup. One color, two black. Destroy target creature. If its spell was foretold, if the spell was foretold, scry 2. Basically, if you're going to foretell, it's a lot more expensive, aka one more mana, but it's the equivalent to a murder card, where you just get to destroy a creature. Not bad overall. Um, yeah. Uh, Fajar 
Judge of Valor. We've seen this card before, actually. Two colors, one white, two black. Legendary creature, Cleric Angel. Flying Lifelink. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards in your library. Put one of them to your hand and rest in the graveyard. 2-4. Overall, really good to get cards you want in your hand. And it combos well with black, where you have uh, materials in the graveyard that you then can use for whatever you need. Saw it coming. Oh my gosh. Two, uh, one color is two blue. Counter target spell. So it's a counter anything. Or you can foretell it. Which is just broken overall. Overall, just a beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show is the last card, which, oh my gosh, it's a shiny land. That is so beautiful. Uh, I love shiny lands. I don't need to explain. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. The next card, okay, that has a back. Oh. It's a regular land. Because I don't want to share the last card yet. It's a green white. And it's beautiful. I really thought the shiny land was the land of the thing. The last card is Walking the uh, Waking the Trolls. A four colorless, one red, one green. Destroy target land. So paying six, you start off with destroying the land, which is, oh gosh. Uh, green mana ramp, you can probably do this turn two, maybe three if you're running slow. Uh, number two, put a target land card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So the land you just destroyed, you get to steal. Uh, or you have other options. Lastly, choose target opponent. If they have fewer lands than you, create a number of 4-4 green troll warrior creature tokens with trample equal to the difference. Oh my gosh! Green, red, land destruction with mana ramp. Let's say you have nine mana, and now they have four, uh, because you just stole one of those practically. <sighs> That's five four fours, which makes everything worth it in my book. So, top three goes as followed. Number three. Now, usually I don't like having shinies be the reason, but come on, it's a beautiful land. I love it. Number two. Probably saw it coming. I just love counter cards, and it works very well as a counter card. And lastly, waking the trolls, because come on, it's it's mana destruction. It's really fun, and I feel like I could use the most out of it. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye! See you guys next time, actually. Bye.